Aaron, the, with the way things have been going lately, what type of collective exhale was there when Andrew Benintendi hits that home run there in the seventh inning? Um, I don't know about exhale at that point. I mean, that's just a, you know, a, a nice shot to answer, you know, them tying the ball game against us. Um, <coughs> And us being able to hold it at a tie game there, and then Benny grabbing the lead right back with a big one. Um, I think it it definitely was a you know one of those moments. You know, um, no secret what we're going through. Um, that was a big blow in an important game. He had mentioned on the field he had been maybe tweaking a few things mechanically at the plate. He's looked a little bit more comfortable lately. What's been the difference from your vantage point? Yeah, um, I think I think you know some. I think Benny getting settled. You know, Benny is, he's a hitter. And, you know, he, he's going to hit. Um, so don't worry about him so much. But still, you know, you're, you're coming to a new team, deadline, getting settled. We're going through this as a team. You know, so, you know, even though he's very, you know, he's very, you know, low-key and not real emotional, um, you know, it's still a complete change in environment and, and, to everyone in different ways there takes takes a little you know getting settled in and uh you know I, I feel like the at bats have been you know really started to pick up here especially lately continuing to get on base you know even yesterday where he missed a couple balls probably that he thinks he should have hit he's still on base twice and then then obviously today uh having another big day you leave you leaned on trevino in big spots for two and a third for him to get that many outs, just did you expect going in you were going to have to use him in that capacity? Um, we're we're just going to try and piece it together. Um, you know, I, I didn't expect him to go two plus. Um, you know, but uh, I didn't have a couple guys available, so it was just like you know I was hoping Nestor could give us a little bit of length and then maybe kind of piece it together there with with Low and Trevino. Uh, but you know once. I had to get Wandy in there. I felt like in that moment in time, in that seventh inning when he came in and kind of forced him to use their bench a little bit. But um, just you can't say enough about that effort from Lou. I mean, I thought he threw the ball great. You know, gets Guerrero in the biggest spot and the bases loaded to start things. And then, you know, a real efficient inning that allowed him to go back out there for the ninth. And then, you know, as long as he was holding up, I was going to I was going to ride him to the end. And you mentioned a few guys unavailable. Did you not have Efros tonight? Did not. Eric? Aaron, what was your perspective on the Judge Manoa thing in the fifth? Division rivals, you know, little motions get going a little bit. Um, two competitors, not much, you know. Pl plenty of your guys seem to think that it was intentional, including Cole. What did you think? Um, you already talked to Garrett? No, but the way he charged out of oh. the dugout is kind of suggestive. Doesn't mean it's intentional. He doesn't like, doesn't like our guy getting drilled. That's the intentional. Sometimes, you know, we, we get caught up in this intentional thing. Like, if it's not intentional, then fine. You know, sometimes I, we have a different take on that. When your dude gets hit, usually gets your attention. So I don't think it was intentional. Um, but, you know, it thought every, it kept everyone's focus, and, you know, we moved on from it. Ian, on the far right. Uh, judge seemed to motion to Cole in the dugout to keep things calm and, and under control. What was your impression of how he handled the situation? Uh, Garrett? Uh, yeah. Judge. Oh, yeah, Judge, you know, I think, I think handled it great. You know, and I thought Garrett, you know, Garrett's just sticking up for his guy, for our guy, you know. So... Look, it's just two division rivals playing for a lot. A little moment in the game, not much to it. We'll go to Chris in the front. What have you thought of what Cabrera has offered you guys out in the field so far? Man. Uh, he's just, you know, for and, and it's, it's one thing that has always been kind of one of his calling cards is that you know, kind of confidence he plays the game with, uh, maturity he plays the game with. He's fearless. Um, you've seen him all over the diamond make some really good plays. You know, that ball there, that 
you know, Guerrero hits hits hard to him that he that he knocks down. There's no panic. You know, a lot of times you'll see, forget a rookie and a young player. A lot of times a veteran player in that kind of situation. But he's he's, you know, he's kind of got that ice water thing. Like he's he he feels like he belongs. Uh, he knows he can play. He has a lot of confidence. He plays with a lot of confidence out there, and I think that's what we've seen. Um, you know, wherever he's been on the diamond, he looks like he belongs there.